Hi, this is Conan Amat. Welcome to my channel. So quite often when you work on advanced strategies, only price is not enough for you. So you might want to use like correlation between stocks, sentiment data, fundamentals, and so on. And in this video, I will show you how you can use multiple data sources in backtrader strategies. If you like my content, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. This will help me to create more and better content for you. So here I have a pretty simple strategy already implemented in a backtrader. This is um, simply moving average across strategy and it's long only. So I have like two moving averages and I see um, a, like a bullish crossover. I go along when I see bearish crossover, I just close my position. So that's it. That's quite simple. So let's execute it. Let's put, I don't know, 50% as a, a percent sizer. And just to, so we can understand better how this strategy works. And as you can see, we can calculate some metrics. As you can see, we have like 0.84 sharp and 10% annualized return. So it seems to work pretty good. So now let's assume that we want to add a, a additional condition to our strategy. So um, it's pretty risky to buy stocks when volatility is high. So let's add a filter based on VIX index and uh, deprecate positions when VIX index is too high. It's extremely easy to add additional uh, sources to backtrader and let me show you how we can do that. So let's start with just adding data to the engine. And basically what you can do actually you can use basically the same code for uh, your uh, data to use like additional data just let's rename our variable and let's here use uh, VIX index um, from Yahoo Finance and just let's add it to uh, your engine like that and this is basically it now our engine has a VIX uh, index as well so now let's go to our strategy and rewrite it and edit additional uh, filter so first what I will do I will add another parameter so it will be easier for us to work uh, with this level. So we'll call this VIX level and let's set it by default to, let's say, 30. And um, now we have to initiate this variable and save this, um, our VIX um, close into another variable to use it in our filter. So we'll create a self.VIX uh, uh, variable and I will assign to it a self.data1.close. So um, our kind of first data we are adding to our um, to our engine will have data zero index and like all other um, all other data you're adding to your engine will have like incremental you know like larger in indices so my VIX will be self.data1 and this way I just can save it as a self.VIX variable so that's uh, basically it so now let's add additional filter to our entry so here's our entry now when you see our bullish crossover let's add and uh, logical operator and now let's uh, compare that you know our uh, self dot vix should be uh, below our uh, prams uh, dot uh, vix uh, level so that's um Okay, so I think you should need to use self here as well. So I think that's it. Let's execute it and let's see how it works. So now here in the, when executing, we also have to add here our previx uh, level parameters we want to uh, add and that's basically it. Now let's execute it and see if it works. So it seems to work. I think our, you know, like PNL increased a bit and let's calculate sharp and sharp is a bit better now it's 0 0.96 and our uh, annualized return is a bit better as well. So now we can uh, actually modify this index to check you know different variables and what works for you better if you want to run the stuff like without this VIX a uh, level uh, kind of condition at all you can put here really very large number that VIX level doesn't exist for it, you will get your initial PNL. So um, as you can see, it's really easy to add uh, multiple data sets in Backtrader. I add only one additional data sets and showing you a pretty simple example, but you can add much more data sets and do more much more complicated analysis if you want. You can even trade multiple stocks at the same time in Backtrader, but I will uh, show this to you in one of my uh, next videos. So I think that's all for this one. Thank you for watching. Bye.